we've been working through the book of Mark, seeing how in the first chapter, Jesus' popularity rises. People begin to hear about Jesus and they come flocking to him. We're going to begin to read in Mark chapter 1, verse 29. As soon as they left the synagogue, the synagogue where Jesus uh, exercised the demoniac, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. They told Jesus about her. So he went to her. He took her hand and he helped her up. The fever left her. She began to wait on them. That evening after sunset, the people brought it, brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door. Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he wouldn't let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Jesus' popularity rises. The entire town gathers at Simon Peter's door so they can hear Jesus teach and bring to him the sick. But I don't want to jump over what happened just before that. When they get to Simon Peter's house, they find that his mother-in-law is feeling a little under the weather. She doesn't have a major disease. She has a, a fever. Jesus goes to her, speaks to her, takes her by the hand, lifts her up, and the fever leaves her, and she begins to serve. What I see from this is that Jesus is the God of the little people. Simon Peter's mother-in-law, we don't even know her name. We never hear again about his mother-in-law. She is just a lady in Israel at this time. But Jesus takes time to go to her, to talk to her, to heal her. He's the God of the little people. Agnes Bojahu was born in 1910. She was a very religious girl as she grew up uh, worshiping in the Catholic Church. She felt God's call to go as a missionary to India. She went to Ireland to study, took her vows in 1927, and by 1929 she went to India where she began to work in Calcutta. She took the name Teresa. In uh, 1950, the Vatican gave her permission to begin a diocese called Missionaries of Charity, Mother Teresa led that diocese. She said it would care for the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. By 1979, Mother Tree said one the Nobel Peace Prize, simply for caring for little people, people with no names of renown. She was invited to come and receive the Nobel Peace Prize, receive a banquet in her honor. She said, no, take that money, give it to the poor in India. $192,000. They interviewed her and they said, what can we do to achieve world peace? She looked at the reporter and said, Go home. Love your family. Mother Teresa was a champion of the little person. Jesus is the God of the little person. What little person do you need to reach out to today? What little person do you need to go to today to spend time with, to share with them what Jesus has done for you. I look forward to sharing with you again tomorrow.